Charlotte, I would like to endorse you to be the next president of the United States. Oh, my God. You've been a great secretary. Of state. Which state again? All of them. Is the secretary of state looking at us? I kind of know her. It's like kind of knowing a mermaid. Do you tell people that? She probably doesn't remember who I am. Secretary Field would like to speak with you. With me? I can't shake this feeling that we know each other. We do. We do? Picture me, I guess, maybe like 20 years younger, but like this. Florsky? Yeah! What are you doing these days? I'm a journalist. You're a great writer. But sometimes you're a little too much. I don't think I am too much. I actually think I am the perfect right portion. It's really nice to see you again. Okay! Crack it down! I'm okay! Do boys and men just call me a cracker? What is the relationship exactly? I used to babysit for him. You babysat for him? Wow, time has not been kind. I need some writers to punch up my speeches. Fred's writing is really good, and he knows me. Oh, I feel so scared. In order to write better for you, I should kind of get to know you better if you have a minute. I actually have seven. Seven okay. minutes in heaven. <laughs> What is your favorite book as a kid? The Velveteen Rabbit. Your favorite song? Must have been Love by Roxette. Most embarrassing moment. I don't embarrass that easily. I don't either, really. What's your favorite sexual position? Normal? Front facing <laughs> oh normal? God. What kind of question That's is that? That's all it took. Look at you. Uh, what, what's your favorite sexual position? Don't be gross, Brian. Do you like date? I mean, who wants to follow me around the world and hope I have five minutes to be affectionate? Yeah. We did almost just die. We actually did almost die. <laughs> We need to move you. Thank you, Agent M. It's Pretty Woman, but she's Richard Gere and you're Julia Roberts. Honestly, this has been the best few weeks of my entire life. We asked a thousand constituents how they would feel if Kate Middleton, I see where you're going with this, were to start dating Danny DeVito. Pretty negative reaction. The last time you got high was at a sing doctor's concert. <laughs> We had a situation. Huh? I'm in so much trouble. What's happened? Are they out of water? Wow, he's so bendy, huh? Oh, oh, ouch. But how does that work with you? Do you like, do you like date? Uh, yeah, I date. Generally, you know, with people who have similar lifestyles to me, people who travel a lot. It's hard to keep those things alive. I'm, I mean, who wants to follow me around the world and hope I have five minutes to be affectionate? Yeah. And honestly, guys don't really want to date women who are more powerful than them. They think they do, but it's a big shriveler. Oof. Mm -hmm. Dick Shriveler is my favorite Batman villain, though, so. You gonna ask why I'm still single? No, I get it. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, it adds up. I'm nervous. This pretty woman. Dude, you're Julia Roberts and Richard Gere is about to come pick you up. Do I look okay? Do I look or funny? Why are these pockets here? Why am I wearing these stupid They're pants? They're too tapered. You can't think like this. You have to be positive. Mr. Flarsky? Wish me luck, man. Hey, you don't need luck, man. She said it was okay. Luck is for losers. You got destiny on your side. You good. Fred, you body body. Doesn't mean anything. Fred, put your seatbelt on. Take care of my friend. All right? I look normal. You look cool. I love you, Fred. Bad boys for life. Everybody, this is my best Friend. And he just lost his job today, all right? He's at rock bottom. It's not that bad. And I'm gonna make him feel better. I'm going off grid till tomorrow. Matter of fact, everybody's got the day off. Everybody's got the day off. Y'all got the day off. Everybody go home. I'm so appreciative of all you guys' hard work. I love every single one of you, except you, Tad. Bagel Friday is for everybody, Tad. You don't think we know you taking the bagels? Yeah, Tad, not cool. Xander, yeah. I need two cans of the Pamplemousse LaCroix. I need that filled with Johnny Walker Blue and CBD oil. Do you want one? Uh, hey. I had some jokes, uh, I was gonna run by you maybe if you have a second. What are you, what are you looking at? <laughs> ah! Jesus! Oh 
Why would you just barge in here while I'm sleeping? You were sleeping? Yes, I was micro napping. Oh, that's what you call that? Yes. Sorry, I didn't I didn't realize you were sleeping. You were standing and your eyes were open. Do you need something? I have I have some jokes that I wrote. I was going to run by you if you have a second. Yeah, that was actually a really good nap. Great. Seemed very restful. Here we go. Roll stop. <laughs> I've been a huge Seth Rogen fan. Great to hear. Uh, really only wanted to make the movie with her, and it took us like seven years to get successful enough to get Charlize Theron in our movie. Yeah! I'm usually in movies where a lot of people die. Yeah. So <laughs> I said, I think this could be fun. Good? I don't feel anything. You don't feel it? Oh, I want more. What if we made the kind of movie I grew up watching that is actually romantic and actually funny? Uh, hey. Do you have a second? What are you... <gasps> Why would you just barge in here while I'm sleeping? You were sleeping? Yes, I was micro-napping. Oh, that's what you call that? <laughs> it felt like we could go and explore a real relationship. Sparks fly. <laughs> Way to ruin the movie. Uh, or do they? <laughs> <laughs>